So I've got a new card game, and it's called Don't Slap Your Prime, okay? I'm going to teach you uh, how the card play works, and then I'm going to talk to you about uh, how you score points. By the way, people have been sending me letters saying, don't put your face on the internet, Mr. Horn, because it's so ugly. And so I'm, this one, I'm not putting my face on the internet. Okay, it's so easy. Dealer has cards, and the dealer gives a card to the left. Can you see that kind of card? I wonder if it's better if I turn the light off. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Uh, okay, so four, 13. Oh, you gotta have at least four people to play this game. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna have five people. So the person to the left of the dealer, I'm the dealer, and the person to the left of the dealer uh, makes all the decisions. He can decide uh, to take someone else's card or keep his own card, okay? That's, that's, he only has one choice. So he's, and if he wants to take someone's card, he touches the card he wants to take. He says, I want this card. And then he says, 1,000 horses, 2,000 horses, 3,000 horses. Now, this person has uh, two things he can do. He can either accept the trade or he can slap his card. And if he slaps his card, that means no trade. And now this is over. And we're going to take this guy can't do anything, but we'll take your cards back. Okay. The problem is you can only slap your card one time. Okay. Uh, for each, uh, we'll, 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 we'll call this a round, right? So now it's this person's time, and then this person, and this person, and then this person. And then when we come back here, you can slap again. Does that make sense to everybody? So let me try it one more time. No, I think it makes sense to everybody. So either you keep the card that you have if you're to the left of the dealer, or you trade with someone. If you trade with someone and they slap their card, then that's over. You can't trade with anyone else. If you slap your card once, you can't slap your card again until it comes all the way around the until the dealer comes all the way back to the original position. Now the question is, how much are cards worth? And I'm going to show you. A 13 is worth zero. A four is worth one. The 6 and the 8 are both worth 2, and your 12 is worth 4. Can you figure out what I've d done, why they're worth that many? Okay, while you're thinking about that, let me show you how we score. Ready? Let's see if we can get this. Cards are scored. Am I getting this right now? Here we go. Cards are scored by how many ways a number can be equally divided. So 4 can be equally divided one way, by cutting it in half. So it's worth one point. A 6 can be divided two ways, either two groups of 3 or three groups of 2. 8, uh, two groups of 4 or four groups of 2. 12, however, can be divided into two groups of 6. Six groups of two, three groups of four, or four groups of three. So it's worth four points. And the 413 is a prime number, and that means it cannot be divided into any more pieces. And by the way, I got these in numbers. So this is, I'll put, maybe I'll put something there. Now, understand we have all these numbers all the way to 100, and here's where the fun comes in, okay? I'm going to play a little game with you. So, you guys decide if you're going to slap your card, okay? I'm, I'm the stealer. I'm going to steal. I got an 89, and you have an 87, and I say, I want to take your card. 1,000 horses, 2,000 horses, 3,000 horses. Did you say slap, did you slap this card or not? That's a great question. Which of these is worth more? And the answer, of course, is 87. 
because 87 is divisible by 3. But Mr. Horn, how do you know 87 is divisible by 3? And what is that equal? And I say, I don't know. I don't know how, how many times 3 goes into 87, but 8 plus 7 equals 15. If you can add the, the numerals of a number and they equal a number that is also divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Uh, let's figure this out. Ready? 2 goes into 8 3 times with 2 left over. 7. 3 goes into 27. 9. 29. 3 and 29. You can divide 87 into 3 and 29 or 29 groups of 3. So this is going to be worth 2 points. 89 is a prime number. So it's worth 0 points. Get it? So at the end of each um, set, we see who has the most points, and that person wins that that uh, that round. And then you, and that person now has one point, and we start again. I, I would love to hear if you think that that there are ways that we can make this game better. Um, uh, anyway, I'll talk to you later.